With making sustainability a business thing, you make your customer your enemy. You tell your customer, please don't buy my stuff because then I can minimize my carbon footprint, I can reduce my climate impact, my footprint. But this is guilt management. You're spooking your customer. You tell your customer, please don't buy my stuff. I'm talking about innovation, about quality. A product which becomes waste just is poor quality. Yeah, so why don't we make stuff which is good instead of less bad? And with that, we can make uh, products out of this 40 years of blame and shame to be beneficial. No tree is climate neutral, so why do you want to be climate neutral? Yeah, a tree is climate positive, so why don't we uh, use all our brain to be at least as intelligent as a tree? So we want to be more stupid than a tree, this is pretty stupid. It needs a new paradigm, because if we just want to be less bad, we are too many people on this planet. But for being beneficial, we could be far more. So it means to think about from cradle to cradle instead of from cradle to grave. So we can make stuff which is beneficial. Instead of doing antimicrobial anti things for outdoor stuff, we can make pro-microbial things, because antimicrobial is only training for terrorists. At the end, the most aggressive microbes yeah, survive and then they kill us. Yeah. And I can tell you, with my personal life, a tragedy, my son died a year ago because of uh, antimicrobial chemicals at the end, antibiotics, not, he, he got an infect in the hospital with a very simple surgery uh, because we are treating the terrorists yeah, and make them uh, training better and better. So when we make pro-microbial things, we support beneficial microbes because 95% of the microbes are tolerating us or even like us. And we need them on our skin, otherwise we cannot survive. We can come up with completely different innovation. So why don't we look at things like a building like a tree, a textile which is actively cleaning the air. Why should I inhale fine dust? I lose about four years of my lifespan yeah, by inhaling fine dust, what my textile can do so. So I don't need to put it into my lung because my textile can be different. So not just traditional functional textiles, but real innovations. We can come up with endless ideas and innovations, uh, really to make stuff which is funny and which is not competing with slave labor work. The communication right now is a nightmare because it always blames the customer and tells them, oh yes, we, we, please don't buy my stuff. And, and it always tries to see problems instead of seeing opportunities. When, what do you do when you say, oh, it's now free of silicons? Yeah, what is instead? Yeah, yeah, it's like when I invite you for dinner <laughs> and I tell you it's free of chicken, what does it help you? We need to define positively what is in there. Yeah, and then your customer is your friend and you don't need to be perfect as well. So it's not about efficiency, it's about effectiveness to say, where do I want to be in 2025, 10 years from now? Now the more you buy from me, the quicker we can change. Yeah. And the customer is coming back not when the stuff is broken, but the customer comes back when he wants to see a new design. And then you can use the materials again and with 3D printing, it will allow completely different designs, for, especially for outdoor things. Yeah.